to uh, the Angora and the Amaiti uh, channel on this build on this Hipmiller project. So as people have seen, I've built a building one of these Hipmiller replicas uh, from parts all over the world to make it a great uh, reproduction of the iconic Hipmiller. And um, as shown in some pictures and videos, I have a business kind of deal going with uh, Mighty here. So um, all the stuff I'm doing will be exclusive in his magazine. And Nils? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna follow uh, Søren's uh, Hepmuller project. Um, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, Søren always makes videos, so he'll put together a, a nice technical video. Uh, what he did over the last well three months because we you know we, we uh, publish the magazine once every three months uh, maybe he will show some other stuff in between but the main focus is to uh, 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 put like an update of the, the Hepmuller project in the magazine uh, and that followed up by uh, by a nice video a, long, a little bit longer video yeah. a technical video, a technical video. Uh, uh, made by by Søren uh, you can find on his uh, YouTube profile QR code will be in the magazine and stuff um, and then uh, eventually the plan is if we can make the goal uh, to have it uh, featured in the magazine of course and have it at the Air Mighty show in uh, 2025 for everyone to uh, to look at mm -hmm. and see it in real life if you be there mm -hmm. you must be there but yeah. And we're going to do a little bit different because, again, this is going to be exclusive in the MIC magazine. So if it all comes together, there will be a little QR code inside the magazine where you, as the MIT users, will be the first in line to see the new videos. So what you see for me was going to be a light version and all exclusive with the MIT magazine. So um, yeah, all I can say is uh, follow his YouTube channel, Yeah, get the magazine. And uh, stay updated on the Hepmuller project, which is, uh, in my opinion, very interesting mm -hmm. because it's going to be a huge build. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned, follow it, and uh, hope to see you at the Mighty Show in 2025. Yeah, Thanks that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, bye. <laughs> so, you saw me and Nils chattering about this build, uh, my Hepmuller project, based on an early. 50 style uh, Hipmüller. Uh, I like the 50 model with um, more kind of old parts. Uh, the, the side trim is a little different on the early ones. There's no front uh, badge on the hood. When I um, find one or buy a new one, I will tell you about this uh, in a little bit. But anyways, this is uh, my dream car for many, many, many years. Guys who know me will tell me, I'll tell you that that's no lie. I've been talking about building a help builder for many years, and uh, luckily, uh, the like luck stroke uh, when my friend uh, Wolf Parts in Sweden had a kit, or some of a kit lying around. Uh, he had traded many years back. It was a, <laughs> it was big money, but uh, not as big as. If you have to <laughs> build a real one or buying them as the parts are now because real they are expensive really expensive so um, this is gonna be uh, my build on youtube on uh, the mid magazine and as spoken in the video just before you saw me talking is um, it's gonna be a detailed version in a mighty magazine as well but i'm gonna go really really deep in uh, showing you how to build uh, stuff not just uh, hip miller stuff lots of the stuff you're gonna see you can translate to your own vehicles uh, your own bills or uh, yeah just learn something about, uh, about this when you see it it looks very complete but uh, it's not i'm missing parts uh, still, but they are on the way. Uh, it's not like <laughs> you can go down in the, the local shop and just buy it. Not yet anyway, I'm working on that as well. But a um, lot of the stuff is coach built and custom made by other people. So I, I basically, what you just see here, uh, this is the Silverline mo models from BBG. The rims are <laughs> 
not necessarily a Hepmiller stuff, but uh, they are from Midline Wheels, Chrome, Fuchs, four and a half, five and a half. Mm, I'm not sure they are the permanent wheel yet, but um, they are always a nice wheel to look at. As you see here, I'm not building a completely original. This is a MPS new drop spindle with the five by 130 and 2.505. Uh, studs so you have both options and uh, over there I have uh, rear drums as well I'm gonna do the same uh, Porsche and the old style pattern in the rear so well silver line and this is what actually from the kit from Wolf Pass he's making these inner fenders and um, be careful because um, there are difference in uh, the years. This is 50 uh, to 52. And then you have over here, this is for my sweater when I'm going to restore that in some point. The little groove you see there is it just a little bit higher on the later model. The, the split is like a little deeper in the section here. So it's not for... <laughs> If you see it and you 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 won't uh, notice the difference but um well when if you're doing right you might as well buy the right pass so also from wolf parts this is wolf parts the trunk area you can call it like that is wolf parts and then we have here this um we call it um what do you call fuels fuel cell station, shall we call it that? Yeah, maybe. And it's left blank, of course, no uh, no numbers hit in it. And it, it's also specific uh, what model year you're gonna buy this. I actually think there are four different versions um, on the really early car like, like this up to 59, 60 model, 62 actually, I think. Man. You just have to see if the, the, the fuel tanking is uh, level or it has a, a more groove look. But uh, this is also really cool stuff being built by a guy in Finland called Vietan Panels. I have actually a package more coming from him with uh, some more sheet metal. Um, the heater channels are from him, the heater channels uh, pants are for him and the Caprolio or Hepmüller under panel is also from Vietan panels. Uh, the door, yeah, what you call it, door skin is actually from uh, JP Group, a local shop 20 minutes from me. Um, I've been scattered to find a good set of doors for, for building this and um, well, they are all very expensive and um, they almost everyone needs to have the, the bottom changed and the inner uh, as well. So I um, actually dug out some old um, front doors I had lying around from a car we butchered in 2001. And if you want to see it, you can go way back on my YouTube channel and see that we cut up a split in a driveway 20 years back or something. So, dug them out of the ceiling and um, well, they are pretty good at this project because doing a Hepmüller, you have to have your score, door skin removed to do the inner structure of the door because that's a little different um, on a Hepmüller than yeah, both not ordinary cars and uh, cabriolets. The cabriolet uh, split um, is a, has a decent, different design inside the door, so um, yeah, and you might as well use it while you have it. Well, and then you can see, as I talked about, they all is rotten. So these bottom sections here and one there, because this is bad, is also from Vietan. The, uh, yeah, if you know Green Funky, you can see inside the firewall, the, the front firewall is uh, from Funky Green Panels and uh, Bottom one is from Vietan. I actually had this dashboard um, from a, <laughs> a forest split we got a front clip from 
some years back too, have a little problem with the A pillar, both sides, and they are here. I'm gonna show you how to change them as well, and all the tools you need to get them aligned perfectly. Then we have um, the front section here. This is um, the same for Capital A or Hipmüller. So um, the odds finding one of these original are almost zero to none. So this is a reproduction from um, a company I can link down below. The Hipmüller kit itself is uh, it's also this guy that made the front piece. So this and this is from uh, from that, that company as well. I'll link that below. Or you can see the, um, the link on the Hipmüller register. And you can see where you can buy the parts as well for, for this type of, of car. We have the rear apron, as I call it. That's from Wolf Parts as well. The rear fenders are actually um, JP Group as well. Not sure they are gonna be the, the final ones. BBT is working on the silver line for the rear as well, so maybe we get around to that. But again, keep in mind this is a replica, so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna not use too much uh, original parts because well, it's a it's a replica, and um, I'm trying to to do my best not to ruin other possible split projects while it pass on this, this car. So the real tail lights are actually made by myself uh, some years back. They are definitely gonna be changed. They look okay-ish, but uh, well, there's a fine reproduction uh, doing those as well. It's actually come, I think he calls Sam's in, uh, I think it's Portugal or something. He makes some reproduction, but uh, yeah, they're not on on stock right now. And um, yeah, I'll see him. I, I can get get to hold him later. The front and rear fenders are from BBG. And yeah, a little bit dusty, but uh, a real, really good reproduction part. Yeah, and uh, these, Brackets are from JP Group. Um, up here we have the the roof, and uh, I can tell you right now, this is expensive, really expensive, and this is Hipmüller only stuff. So um, this is made by my new friend Peter from Germany, who had made this from original, and um, actually got it to me by going to Spa this year and. It came home with uh, some of my friends, so thanks, Peter. I know you're watching. Peter has helped me to um, to get some detailed shots of Hepmüller stuff that is hidden. Remember when this was built back in the day, like the early capitalists, they bought a complete body and pan from Volkswagen and cut off the roof of these cars. So a lot of stuff is a uh, coast builder custom made by the factory back then um, and in, in the in the rear department you have customization made and this sheet metal as you can see i'm missing something here is actually on the way i have bought it uh, again not cheap but uh, necessary and that includes a bracket going from uh, a, a b pillar to b pillar that sits around here around here Reinforcements for the sliding roof here, cornering for making um, yeah the area where the air vent has to go and give the engine room to breathe. And further that from Klaus Missing, I have bought or uh, ordered a wood set. So you have a wood set going on the front here. That's like uh, uh, ordinary. Uh, early capital is. You have a wood section here and a wood section here and a wood section going in this groove around and then you have a wood piece for the rear window. So uh, they made them rapid class anyway but um, I heard they should be really really good so um, 
let's let's see how that goes when they showed up. They talk about December. So I have a little careful what I'm gonna say because I don't know when this is, video is gonna be published, but um, December. So maybe before this video is over, I actually have the, the stuff. We'll see. The pan is actually a very early oval pan I have bought with the project. I'm gonna redo it so it looks more like a split. We have a little heater knob that had to be moved a little forward. I actually have from the same car we um, we caught up back then. I have the rear torsion bar, if you could call it that, the rear end of a split window. Then I'm gonna put in this pan so the shock towers are correct, or the lack of its shock towers, but they will gonna be look like original. The ovals have a groove for I don't know if you can see it in here have a groove for um, the mounting to the shocks. Early split windows, hip mullers, uh, don't have that. So I have to delete that and make a, a flat inner fender so it look real. The, um, the rear bumper mounts is actually already done on this one with the split stuff. So it was done by Wolf Bars before I even got the project and um, yeah, maybe I keep it. Maybe it will be changed because I have a little rod down here. A rod, there's nothing. Rod is cut out, but uh, as we speak, BBT is making this panel from A pillar, B pillar, all the way to the back, new piece. So maybe I'm gonna buy two of those to make it look right, make it more what do you call it? Easier for me, myself to uh, to do it like that, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, I've been walking around this car for like since April, May, I think, looking at it, buying stuff. But uh, now's the time to get it apart again and begin building it because I don't know of if people are missing it, but. It's all held together with small clamps everywhere and you can see nothing is put together. It's all just for the show so I can see what the hell I have bought. So you can see there's clamps everywhere to... Uh, so if, if I was to kick this, it would be all over the, the place. So um, a little time lapse in a bit, I think. Um, from me pulling this apart and then I'm gonna tell you a little about how to approach this and it's gonna be really really in depth depth how to build a head miller but also just learning something about building shit middle and how to put it together and before I forget it I will just say always start here of course you have to have a pan that is straight and in motion but the first things you have to consider is getting the door and the A pillar locked with the front fenders and then you can build the rest. It's the, this is the point that is important building cars. This is gonna tell you everything else, how it's gonna sit, but this is the, the important part. So I think time last time, pulling it apart, talk a little bit more, but this is how it's gonna be. So. Um, Again, to uh, to round this up, Nils is gonna have pictures that's only from his magazine, and then I have my kind of own pictures of what I'm doing, followed up by small videos. But again, when his magazine came out, the next magazine come out, it will be in around February, I think. There will be a video from this, and a couple of days later, when everybody got the magazine, then I will publish my own stuff. So. If you want to be first in line, please subscribe to the Nils' uh, magazine um, on his website. I will link it down below and then we take it from there.
There we have it. Completely blown apart. Almost make me sad to to look at look at it like this, but uh, yeah, there's no other way to do it other than uh, have a, <laughs> a a shelf queen to standing around. That's not the uh, that's not what I want. So again, some beautiful parts uh, made for for all beetles, uh, especially the old ones. So there's something good about this but my pan I remembered when I put it together uh, back then in May April it was a little better but uh, sadly it wasn't so uh, more parts ordered new uh, frame bottoms you can buy from Vietnam is ordered new uh, I want to see this piece here, this I can make myself. That's not so bad. Um, and on the top, not terrible, but uh, then I saw this. It's really bent from blistering, lifting it wrong all over, over the years. And you can see the edge is really bad too. So. Uh, Luckily, Vietan is making a, uh, a bottom pan panel for this, and I've ordered that, and uh, the pan bottom as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna make it make it good again. I have a, another pan uh, in, the, in the shell, but uh, I was meant to do something else with that. So uh, we are we're gonna use this one. It's okay to to use for, for this this project. As mentioned before, um, this is not the right uh, way to look if you have a split window. They have to go like, stop there and then go go directly forward. And uh, depending what year is it, it is, there are different ways to, to mount this. But um, again, I have a torsion bar cut right here so uh, I think I'm gonna open it here and put the, the other shock tower on it so it look more real split stuff this one have to be moved over here and that's gonna be a lot easier than when I'm getting the, the bottom off of the pan so it look right the frame head is okay no problem and uh, it's correct for Split look alike, so I'm not so worried about that. So, all in all, next next thing is gonna be the pan, making that pretty again, get it blasted, uh, primed, and then we can start bolting on new sheet metal and putting the heat channels back on, putting the rear uh, sheet metal on, the firewall, and then slowly build it up again. But there will be a little time before you can see that. This is um, the next two and a half, three months is gonna be in the shadows, if you could call it that. All video material is gonna be on the next one in February. So there will be a, a lot of stuff to work, watch when we come to that. But again, that's all in the exclusive in the Air Mighty magazine. So stay tuned. And we uh, see you later. Yeah, of course. Subscribe me at my YouTube channel. Um, if you're seeing this on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, then uh, then find me on YouTube. See you later.